नमो नम या देवी सर्वूतेषु दया रूपेण सस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वूतेषु सृष्टि रूपेण सस्थिता नमस्त नमस्त सर्वूतेषु मातृपेण सस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वूतेषु Walking through the narrow, dusty lanes and by lanes of Komodule, one can see the little shops where sculptors work with great concentration in their cramped little workshops, giving shape to their masterpieces. clay required to make the idols combined with the dust of these lanes the squalor of the neighborhood and the claustrophobic habitat of the people living here forms a unique inimitable atmosphere amidst all the chaos rise the mighty sculptures of goddess shakti with her arms raised to slay the demon महिषासुर She looks calm yet ferocious beautiful yet frightening all at once Hidden away in the maze of Kolkata is India's prime potter's locality, Komodoli. The clay model makers' abode is situated in the northern part of Kolkata, very close to the river Bhagirathi. By virtue of their creativity the potters residing in this locality have progressed from obscurity to prominence. This neighborhood of Kolkata not only supplies clay idols of Hindu gods and goddesses to the puja pandals in the city and its neighboring areas but a number of idols are also exported outside the country. It is considered one of the seven wonders of Kolkata. The name Komotoli is derived from the Bengali word Komor meaning potter and Tuli meaning locality. Creating idols has been an age-old custom for the Komors or potters of Kolkata with their craft handed down through generations. The making of the Durga idols always has been a lengthy and strenuous process. The artisans work in a systematic manner to create the most exquisite pieces of artistry. Organized and complex teamwork brings the idols to a state of perfection. skeletal structure of bamboo and straw is assembled by one group of artisans
whereas another group does the clay mixing and application. Finally, the head, palms and feet of the goddess are prepared by yet another group with expertise in this process. The key raw material of this whole process is the clay, most of which is procured from Bagh Bazar Ghat, which is near Komotoli. processed properly before work starts on the idols. This is the most crucial stage as the correct bonding of the clay is essential. The next stage involves the application of the clay in multiple layers. An old ritual of collecting the first clump of clay from the house of a sex worker in the prostitute area of Sonargachi is still followed to date. The belief still prevails that a man has to leave the purity of his soul before entering a sex worker's house. After collecting this clay, the potters offer prayers and start laying clay over the bamboo and straw framework. The second layer of clay is applied with immense caution as it is the most vital layer which gives prominence to the figure. The artisans make the head of the goddess with fine clay, crafting each feature with great care and skill. Liquid plaster of Paris is poured over this to form a mould when dried. At the end, pieces of cloth soaked in fine clay procured from the riverbed of the Hugli is smeared on the joints of the figure to cover any cracks that may have developed after drying. coat of clay is applied to strengthen the joints. On completion of the entire process, the idol is tinted with white colour. Ultimately, the whole statue is painted with yellow, earthy colours. Finally, the ritual of Chokudan is performed on the day of Mahalai, the first day of Durga Puja. In this, the eyes are painted on the idols and the chief artisan does the detailing. Lastly, the idols are varnished. Hair made of jute are glued on and then the idol is dressed and ornamented.
even if you move away from Kolkata, the memory of Kumortoli, the smell of the clay. The intricate beauty of the huge idols stacked everywhere and its skillful sculptors will haunt you forever, no matter where you are.